10 and 3. Let's see how we get on today. Just keep everything as usual, as normal. If the unusual happens, then we'll take a little bit of a stop and re-evaluate the game. Okay, right, so that's nice. We do like bringing the bishop out here. Don't see any problems with that. I'm going to bring the queen here, seeing if they want to be negating the checkmate quick, quick. Queen's out. Anything else? Anything else? Mm, do, do, take and it develops his knight. Uh, do you know I'm going to double the pawns if he takes? I don't care. Let's try it. I would take normally. It just develops his knight. I'm thinking, well, why should I develop his pieces for him? Let's go here. Let's attack his bishop next. Yeah, let's attack the bishop next. So I feel in my heart that they're down by that half tempo and he just wants to line his pawns up. I thought they would do. Uh, that they lost a little bit of tempo because we didn't actually capture their queen. So I'm now going to castle queen side. Because they'll be chomping at the bit to start attacking on our queen side. Overextending. So I do believe that was a key moment in the game, but we'll see how it transpires. It doesn't mean we've won anything because it's still equal. But I'm just looking more positionally on the board. We have two pieces that are developed, well, three pieces really, that are developed. They're actually going for an exchange and the rook is going to be in the center of the board. Obviously, it doesn't mean that much, but let's take the bishop. Okay, so again, that, that's probably a key tempo in terms of development on the board. But how can we take advantage of that? The knight is protecting this pawn at the minute. What I'm thinking is, is doubling the rooks up. Obviously, they're going to go on castle, pushing onto the knight so it's not defending this. And then maybe trying to grab this pawn. But he does have this rook that can go back. Okay, let's just bring the rook here. So they'll still be defending it with the rook anyway. Let's just push onto the knight. So it's not coming here, it's probably just going there. But they've got two pieces defending, so we can't actually go in and do anything about it. Probably swinging the knight in here, in here, just to be a bit uncomfortable. Uh, well, I didn't spot that, but uh, let's carry on with this manoeuvre. Trying to sink it into here. So that does look like a nice position. The knight's the only one that probably can take it off the board if it gets there. Fantastic knight movers, movements, look at them. Let's sink our knight into here. So it's stopping this maneuver. So now let's change our trajectory. What's he doing with his knight? Maybe coming here, maybe blocking, which is, I think that's probably where it's going. So we're coming here and it's doing a lot of dancing around. Their rook is out of the game, but we're not doing anything major at the moment. We have spots of attacking pieces here and, and here. Putting a check on the king here. Coming back around, attacking pawns here. So that's why it's quite a nice position for the knight. Only piece that can take it off is their knight, really. Unless they're doing a major sacrifice. Yep, active with the knight, just bouncing. I think they're looking to try and find a position to get our knight off the board. So we could go and attack their rook. Rook obviously comes to attack it. So if the Rook comes to attack it, we could then take this pawn. So I'm actually going to attack the Rook with a check as well. So you would think it would come here to attack it. Then we can go here with a check on the King. It's nothing major. Ah, we're getting trapped. Always thinking that now. <laughs> So 
So a crucial part of the game. Um, we were we did end up focusing on this pawn, and we seem to be able to get a better position. Let's take with the check of the king. King can't come here because this pawn is blocking it, so it has to go back here. And we could go and attack their rook again. Also attacking this pawn. So I'm going to attack the rook again. This is like total harassment of a rook here. And then we can put a check on the king. Yep. Oh, okay. So we can go here, but their knight will just take us. Oh, do we want that? I feel like I've done such nice work to get to this position and feel like a trade down just feels a little bit flat. We take his king takes. His king is there, so the knight could go and put a check on. Attacking this pawn, but the rook is there. So what does the king do? It's not going our rook can't come here. So he could easily just go there, but he doesn't want to do that because he'll get a check on him. So just goes back here. Yeah, that's not clear at all, is it? It's almost like draw land. Uh, Taylor Tate plus one, but that, like we say, doesn't mean anything. What else can we do? Because our rook can defend our rook. If we move the knight, so if we move the knight and attack the rook again, he takes, we take. Am I being arty? I don't, I just don't like the idea of just take, take there, and that doesn't look good. What, what else do I have after that? I'm going to attack the rook. Feels like I'm doing a tactics puzzle again. I'm going to attack the rook if he takes, then we're still owning the file. Okay, so we're still owning the file. Is he going to come and attack us? I think that human would just go and attack the rook. I mean, we can put a check on, but it's a mealy mouth little check. Okay, right. Do we, do we go back to the position that we were looking at again, which is attacking this pawn? So bring the rook knight up so we can at least take a pawn off the board. And also this rook is not going here because we can take. Did I call it tactics? Pattern training. Not tactics. We don't do tactics. We do patterns. He might go for that exchange, might he, himself. Pawn's protecting the knight, but we can still go. Oh, come on, he's defending. He's defending, so if we went here, then he takes, then we take, then he ends up owning the file, but then we've got pawns. Uh, can't push, could push, it's a bit slow. Shall we attack? If we attack, what can happen? If we attack his knight... I think we're just going to take it, isn't it? Let's just attack the knight. I think they'll just take. And then at least we push pressure in here, but he drops and then we're trying to chase the pawns and then he drops. But I suppose we'll take that one. King's protecting this square. This pawn's probably going to fall. Oh, what are you doing, man? No, 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 we don't want fanciness. No. <laughs> oh, no, I think I've lost out, haven't I? Oh, I've just seen it now. Oh, you are having a laugh. 
You're joking, all that beautiful work and now I've lost my knight. No. That armor oh, rook. I've lost the knight. I'm gonna have to come here. Am I panicking too much now? I'm panicking too much. Let's go here. Whew. Oh my days, I thought I'd lost everything then. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Calculations. Don't they make you sick? They never do what you expect them to do. There yeah, we take. So we're in that situation we're talking about. Now we pushes. So then if we come here. Then he comes down and defends with the rook, I suppose. Yep. So can we start pushing these pawns up then? Let's let's push these pawns up. This rook has been out of the game forever. If he comes in, we could take a few pawns. So it feels fairly natural. Let's just stop the Scud missile. Yeah, these pawns aren't moving. Well, I can start moving my king up. Let's just move that just as a tempo move. Start moving the king. He's wanting to make space for his rook, but there's surely there's nothing there. Shall we just block that pawn? King's going to go backwards and forwards. Could attack if he takes king takes. Let's move the king. Just going backwards and forwards with the king. So what is the plan for my king? Up, up, attacking the rook. I don't think we'll get there though because he'll just drop down. Let's move the king. Maybe looking for a two on one, take, 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 and maybe try and peel these pawns off. Tough little game. Just moved out of the way, so we, I think we still can just continue doing this and get the two on one. Take, take, grab these pawns, and then we've got three linked pawns. That should surely be able to do something, surely. I hope I've not messed the tempo up. Oops, excuse me, let's take. He doesn't have to capture actually either. Just got to think about that. He could always just go back and then try and work his way around and take the pawns this way. That is something to consider. Oh man, yeah, they're playing silly buggers. Right. <sighs> so how do we play this? So this pawn's got no protection on it, so if we get a little bit out and think we're stopping him here, he comes here and then he gets that pawn, so I'd have to come backwards and forwards with the rook. Or shall I just move the king across? If he wants to attack, then we can take. All right, let's do that. And if he's coming across here, then at least we can do this. But then it's backwards and forwards and they've got a draw. Oh, very clever. Drops here, here, comes back. Maybe we just come down and just defend. But then I suppose he can come. Ooh. What is he doing? So the fear factor is okay. So if we push this pawn, then he takes, then we take. 
but at least we're around these. I'm going to push this pawn. It's probably just going to put a check on, but that's okay for us because then we've got a pass pawn. We can just take here anyway. I think they will take. Looks like they've left the game. Well, they've got many seconds, 25 seconds, 24. It's an interesting game indeed. I think for me, the, the opening part, the focus on that one particular pawn, on, was it the D file, kind of helped us build a little bit of movement towards um, gaining an advantage and just keep that focus um, only because it was allowed, you know, that pawn was not going to be as supported as what it could have been. And that was just the tempo win in terms of developing pieces because we had like two pieces developed. I think it came just from that capturing of the queen or non-capturing of the queen, which allowed us to gain a little bit of extra tempo in terms of development on the board. And it is so crucial, especially if you're a positional player, you, you like to win those all important small tiny little timpy in order to gain better advantages <laughs> 